everybody. This is Mike Raber at the Tackle Shack. Wanted to take a quick minute to talk to you about something we get a ton of questions about, and that is drop shotting, but more specifically about choosing the right rod for your drop shot. So this is the rod that I use to drop shot predominantly. Um, it is a Denali lithium drop shot rod. It's seven foot long, and it's their medium action, which if Tyler will show you here, um, it's fairly soft in the backbone. So it's very parabolic, which to me is very important for nose hook style drop shot baits. So if I'm fishing smallmouth predominantly, I'm gonna go this route here because I'm using smaller hooks that look similar to this. So that's the new Trocar Axe hook. Um, we've got it. It is a very cool hook. I haven't had a chance to mess with it a ton, but it's very neat. Um, that's gonna help keep those smaller hooks pinned in the mouth of the fish. Um, stepping up to more of a local drop shot, we've got the brand new Loomis GCX 852. So that 852 is kind of that, as you can see, it gets stiffer in the backbone. So it's softer at the tip, but stiffer at the backbone. And that's gonna help to actually pull hard on fish to get them out of grass. So if you're drop shotting like Hamilton Lake, Sylvan Lake, Dukes Bridge, this rod's gonna be a lot better for you. Um, and that most commonly is with a hook style like that, actually rigged weedless on a drop shot, usually worm style baits. So um, lots of different variations. Those are just two I wanted to highlight, but a little bit softer rod in the backbone for your nose hook drop shot baits, a little bit stiffer rod in the backbone for your Texas rig drop shot baits. Hopefully that helps you guys out. Fish on.